from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist Christy Stewart. Well, and it has been a fantastic start to our holiday weekend. I mean, beautiful weather, lots of sunshine, tons of people enjoying that outside of our Virginia Beach ocean front. And we had low humidity today as well. We saw those dew points in the mid 50s. We really didn't feel any humidity at all. And check out these high temperatures today, right about 80 degrees. I don't think we could ask for a better 4th of July. And we're just staying with that beautiful weather as we head into the rest of the night tonight and into the day tomorrow, as well as carrying into Monday. So mostly clear for the night tonight, maybe a stray shower for our northern counties in the eastern shore or the peninsulas, but I think most of us should be able to stay dry. We'll see those lows dropping down to about 70 degrees tomorrow. We'll have temperatures a little bit warmer in the mid to the upper 80s, but still able to enjoy that low humidity. So it's going to be a great day for anything that you want to do throughout the daytime hours of the 4th of July and for fireworks both tonight and tomorrow night. That's looking fantastic as well. Again, just a little bit warmer tomorrow. Now, fun fact for you you having that lower humidity, we should be seeing some more vibrant firework displays. So it should be just overall a fantastic 4th of July, probably the best one that we could ever ask for. We will be a little bit warmer on Monday. That's the observed holiday in the low 90s, staying in the low 90s for the first half of the week, but mostly dry with lots of sunshine. Now come Wednesday night throughout the day on Thursday and into Friday, we could potentially be seeing some impacts from what is tropical storm Elsa down in the Caribbean Sea right now. So we'll have to keep a close eye on that. And then on Saturday, we could be seeing a few more of those isolated thunderstorms.